Now we have second example demonstrating usage of matrix method in paraxial optics. And with this example, uh, the problem is following. We have two thin lens. One is converging with positive focal lens 15 cm and second one is diverging with negative focal lens minus 30 cm and they are separated by distance 10 cm. And the question is first part we need to write the matrix of this system and the second part is saying that if we place two centimeter tall object on the distance 30 centimeter to the left from the first lens, lens here, we need the, uh, to find the position and the size of the image. So first question and here we have the sketch of our system. So we can position input plane in the surface of the first lens. Of course, if since the lens is thin, uh, geometrically back and front surface for this lens has the same position, at least theoretically, of course. And the output plane of our system is coincide with the second thin lens. And then we can write the matrix for this system. For that one, again, as in previous example, the matrix will be composed from three parts. The one, the first and the third parts are the matrices for the thin lens and the second part is translation matrix between these two. So here M3 is the matrix for the last optical element, which is con diver uh, diverging thin lens. And the, of course, as I said, the M2 is the translation matrix between them and M1 is the matrix for the first thin lens. So now again in the same way as we did previously I am calculating uh, so I am multiplying these three matrices in order to find the matrix for the entire system. So again first I am multiplying M2 with M1 so which is M2 written here with the numbers given in the problem. M1 is written here with the numbers given in the problem. So, and this is the result of multiplication of M2 times M1. And then I am multiplying M3 with the result of the multiplication of M2 times M1. And here I found the resulting matrix for my optical system. Here is the result. So now I found the matrix for the optical system for which, as we were talking before, the input plane coincides with the first surface of the first optical element. So it coincides with the thin, first thin lens and the output plane coincides with the second thin lens. Now in the part B, we are placing object in the distance 30 cm to the left from the first lens, which means 30 cm from our input plane, and we need to find the position of the image. As we were talking previously, we can rewrite the matrix for our system in such a way that we can change the position of input and output plane. So in that case, we will have input plane. We can coincide it with position of our object to move it 30 centimeter here. And then we can move output plane to X centimeter to the right from the optical element or actually to the x centimeter it doesn't mean right or left if it if we find 
Finally, the x as negative number, it will mean to the left. If it is positive number, it will mean to the right. But anyway, so to do that, to, to move the input and output plane, we need to rewrite the matrix for our system. For that one, we, will, we need to add two translational matrix from both sides of the matrix which we found. So here there is a translation matrix uh, which is given by this number, the 30 centimeter is this distance. And the second translation matrix is given by this, this x distance, which we don't know for now. So finally we will find the matrix which will be x dependent. So of course we are when we are adding the, the first matrix we will write it as the last in our multiplication and the last matrix we will write as the first during multiplication and here is the uh, composite matrix which is composite from three so now we need to find first the result of multiplication of these two and then we will multiply the, uh, the first matrix which is here which is which correspond to the last translation here with the result of these two. Okay, so now we found the matrix which now corresponds to entire system where the input plane is 30 centimeter from the first optical element and the output plane is X centimeter from the last optical element. So, and this is the matrix which is of course x dependent because x is variable in our problem so now we know that if b element of the system so a b c d element so if b element of the system is equal zero the input plane and output plane are conjugate so it means if this element zero if I place some object in the input plane, I will find the image in the output plane. So here we are doing this. We are setting B is equal zero. It gives us X is equal 60 centimeter. It means that we will find the image 60 centimeter to the right from the last surface of the last optical element of our system. Now the next part, we need to find the size of the image. For that one, we were talking if the B is equal zero, so the Y position is equal A times Y zero. So practically we need to find Y, uh, we, we need to find A from here, since we know X is equal 60 centimeter, A is equal now uh, minus 3 and that is the magnification of our system so from here the y1 is equal minus 6 centimeter which means the image is inverted and magnified 